Hello. In my first uh, presentation for Vorum Switch Wire, I made a test, a speed test with the Vorum Cube. Uh, I went to 200 millimeters per second, then to 300 millimeters per second, and it printed fine. Well, this test is not really relevant because uh, with 2000 acceleration, you cannot go to maximum speed for this small distance. So, I make a new test with the Voron Cube oversized three times. So, it's more like 200 millimeters per second. So I had to bump the temperature by 10 degrees in order to, for the hot end to be able to melt uh, the filament uh, that fast. It's actually my second try. The first failed because uh, yeah, the filament could, couldn't melt fast enough. But this one seems perfect at this speed. So, let's see how it will end. So, is it really printing with uh, 200 millimeters per second? I'm sure for longer lines it reaches this speed than for shorter lines where you have turns and edges. The speed is of course slower. But I think what is more important than the speed is the acceleration while well, this printer prints okay with 2000 millimeters per square second acceleration which is quite high for a printer with a moving bed it did nice bridging three times longer than the original one this is i think at slower speed of the top and bottom layers so it should be around 80 millimeters per second and 1500 millimeters per square second acceleration I think I could even increase the acceleration a bit more to make it more spectacular but I believe it will be of the cost of uh, the print quality so it's already quite high and I think you can go with this maximum acceleration for all of your prints with this printer and get consistent printing quality anyway I think it prints quite fast it delivered almost 200 grams of filament for six hours at uh, quite high resolution of uh, 0 0.2 millimeters layer height the cube printed fine I see some very slight ghosting here and there but other than that uh, it's perfect edges are quite sharp and well the general look is uh, excellent
Next I printed the Rancor model from Tanks. This model has a lot of uh, overhangs, it prints without supports. I printed it at relatively slow speed, I think it was 80 millimeters per second and a little bit fast for the infill. And it printed fine. It was also a test how the printer will behave when there is a heavy model on it because I did this with 30% infill and at the end it weighs about 300 grams. I just wanted to finish the spool so I did it quite heavy and actually it printed fine in the top layers. I printed also this cube is a torture test. Basically, I tested the retractions and the Z hopes, and yeah, it printed. So, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you for my next project. Bye bye!